हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज महेश शिवलेकर एंड यू आर वाचिंग नेक्स्ट चैन मैथ्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द बेसिक्स ऑफ हायर ऑर्डर ऑर्डिनरी लिनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो हायर ऑर्डर ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन क्लासिफाइड इनटू टू पार्ट्स लिनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड नॉन लिनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन लिनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन व्हिच y y डैश y डबल डैश दैट मींस डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इज डेरिवेटिव आर नॉट अकर इन द प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म एग्जांपल y डबल डैश प्लस 2y डैश प्लस y इक्वल टू 5x y डबल डैश माइनस y डैश प्लस y इक्वल टू e पावर x x स्क्वायर y डबल डैश माइनस x y डैश प्लस x y इक्वल टू sin x हियर x इज इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल सो इट्स प्रोडक्ट इज अलाउड नॉन लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दैट इज व्हिच आर नॉट लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन y डबल डैश इनटू y इक्वल टू 5x सो y डबल डैश इन y दैट मींस डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इज डेरिवेटिव इन द प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म सो इट इज अ नॉन लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन y डबल डैश इनटू sin y इक्वल टू cos x If we sign y written in the series form, you can easily say that y double dash and y are in the product form. So it is non-linear differential equation. Here y double dash square plus y dash plus y equal to ln x. It is also non-linear differential equation because y double dash into y double dash. So it is in the product form. Now we are going to discuss higher order linear ordinary differential equation. So form of linear ordinary differential equation is p zero x y bar n. That means nth derivative of y. Plus p one x y power n minus one that means n minus one derivative of y up to p n x y equal to r x. Here p zero, p one x, p n x and r x are the function of x. Now it is further classified into two parts: homogeneous and non-homogeneous linear differential equation. Homogeneous differential equation means what? R x is equal to zero. Non-homogeneous differential equation means r x not equal to zero. R x is equal to zero that means physical sense there is no external force. And R x not equal to zero, that means there is an external force in the system. So sometimes non-homogeneous system is known as force system. Now example y double dash plus two y dash plus y equal to zero, and y double dash plus two y dash plus y equal to e power x. So difference is the representing the same system here. External force is zero. External force is in form of e power x. Now we are going to discuss homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation. So further it classified into constant coefficient and variable coefficient. So it is depend on the coefficient p zero x, p one x, p n x. If they are constant, then it is called the homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation with the constant coefficient. If they are function of x, then it is a variable coefficient. So it is known as homogeneous linear differential equation with the variable coefficient. Example: fourth derivative y plus third derivative of y minus 2y dash plus y equal to zero zero. Here the coefficients are one one minus two one. Here one minus eight. So it is a homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficient. And here you can see x square y double dash plus x y dash plus y equal to zero. The coefficients are x square x, which are the function of x. So it is variable coefficients ordinary differential equation. Now solution of ordinary differential equation. The function y equal to phi x is the solution of our Ordinary differential equation if it satisfies the equation. That means if we put y and its derivative in the equation, then it satisfies the equation. Example: If y one equal to e power four x and y two equal to e power three x, then which one is the solution of differential equation y double dash minus sixteen y equal to zero? If y one satisfies this equation, then y one will be the solution. If y two satisfies this equation, then y two will be the solution. If both satisfies this equation, then both will be the solution. So for that. We require y1 and its derivative. So y1 equal to e power 4x. Then y1 dash equal to 4 into e power 4x. Y1 double dash is equal to 16 into e power 4x. Substitute that value. Y1 double dash minus 16 y1 equal to 16 e power 4x minus 16 times y1 equal to e power 4x equal to zero. So y1 satisfies this equation. Therefore, y1 will be the solution of differential equation. Now for y2, e power 3x. Y two dash three into e power three x. Y two double dash nine into e power three x. Y two double dash minus sixteen y two equal to nine e power three x minus sixteen e power three x equal to minus seven e power three x, which is not equal to zero. So y two is not in solution of differential equation. Example two. Y one equal to e power two x and y two equal to e power minus x. Then which one is the solution of a differential equation? Y one double dash minus two y dash minus three y equal to zero. So first we check for y one. Y one equal to e power two x. Y one dash equal to two into e power two x. 
y1 double dash is equal to 4 into e power 2x. If we substitute that value, then we have 4 into e power 2x minus 4 into e power 2x minus 3 into e power 2x. And value is minus 3 e power 2x, which is non zero. Therefore, y1 is not in solution of differential equation. Similarly, y2 equal to e power minus x. Now substitute y2 dash is equal to minus e power minus x. y2 double dash is equal to e power minus x. Substitute that value. Then we have e power minus x plus 2 into e power minus x minus 3 into e power minus x which will be 0. Therefore y2 is the solution of differential equation. Thanks for watching. For more videos like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon of next gen mess.